one of the new ch things I've added to uh, the system is penetration. Um, I've set up a small test level here and I've made some awesome materials. This one is stone or rock. This one, as you can see, is clearly wood. And then we have this cool metal iron thing right here. And they are set up with uh, different thickness uh, just to demonstrate how well the bullet penetrates. First, I'm, we're just going to take a quick look at what happens when we shoot at it. Start our player here. Gonna shoot two shots, one through the material and one next to it so we can compare the arcs. And as you can see, the one that went through started falling uh, quite a bit earlier. And then we're going to do the same here with the one. And there's quite, uh, the same thing happens. It's quite thick, this wooden plank. And then we're going to try to shoot through the metal. And as you can see, the it's pretty pronounced here. It loses a lot of speed going through that. Uh, although it is thinner, it lost a lot more speed than when it went through the wood. As you can see here. Um, it's, it, it's pretty obvious. But the way that you set this up is... First, let's take a look at the materials that we've made. I have, let's take the iron material I have here. Um, as you can see, this is how you make the best looking iron material ever. Um, this is how all metals should be set up and only this, you can't make it better. Um, but the way that you actually make the bullet interact is you choose physical material. Um, and as you can see, there's some options here, or you can just create a new one if you want to. And this one, iron, is obviously metal, so we select that one. Anyway, this physical material is now selected on my material. There's material and physical material. Big distinct, uh, yeah, I it's different. Anyway, let's take a look at the stone and see. Yeah, you can set up stone material like this, and there's a physical material, physical material called stone. So I select that one, and you guessed it, wood has a physical material called wood. Okay, so now the materials are set up. Um, let's just take a quick look at what happens if there is no physical material <laughs> nothing it doesn't go through actually because this material is only applied to one side I can just <laughs> through the other side and you can see there's no bullet so this is something to to keep in mind um, it take it tests the physical material of the impact location so let's see um, in blueprints, uh, realistic blueprint weapons blueprints, we have impact behavior data. Not this one, but impact behavior data. And we open it and take a look. And as you can see, I have this is just something I have uh, put in. Um, it's just strings and some numbers. The name here. Don't, uh, these have to be numbers and they have to just go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. The material name has to be the same as this one. So as you can see here, we have some metal. And then there's this joule per centimeters, and that's how much energy does the bullet lose going through one centimeter of this material so this is where you set that up and as you can see concrete you lose quite a lot of speed uh, same with metal and stone and wood you don't lose as much and that was the effect that we saw before and you can just add more numbers here 
So we add one, we have a new row. Um, and we just say, uh, I don't know, paper, joule per centimeter, you lose maybe, I don't know, somewhere around the same as wood. And we have ricochet angle and impact effect. These are not used yet, but it's coming in a later update. And we should just rename this to say boink, like that. And actually you can have all these values in a spreadsheet and just import that. Um, Unreal Engine supports that, so feel free to do that. And yeah, so that is how you set it up. Penetration. No penetration. I hope you could use it. Bye.